Hey guys, let me confirm that you have made the right decision to be here in Tire Show Channel, a best place where a million of people gather to get the right information about anything tires. In this video, I will show you different ways to create valuable resources from from old tires. But first, let me remind you to subscribe and be part of our growing community. Now we need to understand the hidden gold in old tires. Old tires are often seen as waste or rubbish, but they are actually a rich source of materials. This is also a powerful reminder that waste is not an end, but a beginning of something new. Better watch this video till the end. You will find a very interesting part made just for you. Now, let's see what you can create from old tires. Number one, recycled rubber products. You can create rubber mulch from old tires. And here is the guide. First, you need to collect old tires from tire shops, garages, etc. Then, shred them, remove the steels, separate the fiber, do secondary grinding. Then clean them, color them if necessary, and start packaging. Another resource you can create is rubberized asphalt from old tires. So here's the guide. Shred the tires. Use an industrial shredder to turn old tires into crumb rubber, which are small granules. Grind to fine powder. Optionally, for better blending, heat the asphalt binder to around 160 to 190 degrees Celsius. Mix rubber with asphalt by adding crumb rubber around 15 to 22 percent to hot bitumen. Stir continuously for 30 to 60 minutes until fully blended. Apply the hot mix. Use the rubber modified binder in hot mix asphalt for paving roads, driveways or parking lots. Another resource you can create is athletic tracks and playground surfaces. Here is the guide. Process all tires into crumb rubber 1 to 4 millimeter granules, removing steel and fibers. Clean the rubber, wash and dry to remove contaminants. Blend crumb rubber with polyurethane binder, typically 10 to 15 percent by weight. Pour and level. Spread the mix evenly over the surface area using a screed or trowel. Cure the surface. Allow it to cure for 24 to 48 hours, depending on temperature and humidity. Let's go to number two, upcycled art and furniture. Another resource you can create is furniture from old tires. Here is the guide. Clean the tire, just wash thoroughly and let it dry. Now choose a design. Some popular options include ottomans, chairs, tables and shelves. Cut or stack. Cut the tire if needed or stack multiple tires for the desired height. Then add a base or top. Attach a wooden or glass top for tables, or plywood seat for chairs using screws or adhesive. Wrap or upholster, cover with rope, fabric or foam, padding for style, and comfort, then paint or decorate. Use spray paint or sealant for a finished look. These will give you some durable, eco-friendly and creative indoor or outdoor furniture. Another resource you can create is sculptures and art installations. Here is the guide. Collect different tire types, use various sizes like bike, car and truck tires for creative variety. Clean thoroughly, remove dirt, grease and debris, cut and shape. Use a utility knife, saw or grinder to cut and bend tires into desired forms. Assemble pieces. Use bolts, welding for steel parts, or strong adhesives to join parts. Paint and decorate. Use outdoor grade spray paint and sealants for color and protection. Mount or display. Install on a solid base or hang securely for stability. Now let's go to number three. Construction and building materials. You can create tire derived aggregate from old tires. Here is the guide. 
Collect all tires from shops or dumps. Remove steel beads. Strip out steel wires using industrial equipment or heavy duty magnets. Shred the tires. Use a tire shredder to cut tires into 2 to 12 inch chunks. Size depends on use. Screen and sort. Remove leftover wire, fiber, and fine rubber particles. Store or use. Use TDA for construction fill, drainage road base, or landfill support. You can build earthship houses from old tires. Here's the guide. Collect hundreds of used tires. Same size works best. Pack with earth. Fill tires tightly with dirt using a sledgehammer to create solid earth bricks. Stack tires for walls. Lay them like bricks in a staggered pattern. Each layer offset from the one below. Reinforce and plaster. Add rebar for strength and cover walls with adobe, concrete, or plaster. Add roof, windows, and utilities. Use recycled materials for roofing. Install south-facing windows for solar heat. And add water and energy systems. Now let's go to number four, industrial and agricultural applications. You can control erosion systems from old tires. And here is the guide. One, collect and clean tires. Use uniform sizes for stability and easier stacking. Two, cut or stack tires. Stack whole tires or cut them in half to form terraces or retaining walls on slopes. Three, anchor tires. Fill with soil, rocks or gravel to weigh them down and hold the slope in place. Four, Add vegetation, plant grass or native plants, inside and around the tires to help stabilize the soil. Five, secure edges. Use stakes, rebar, or mesh to keep tires from shifting during heavy rain. You can create silage weights for farms from old tires. One, collect old tires. Use passenger car tires, not heavy truck tires, for easier handling. Two, Cut the tires, optional. Cut them in half or remove side walls with a sharp knife or reciprocating saw to reduce weight and make stacking easier. Three, clean the tires. Remove debris and water to prevent contamination. Four, place on silage cover. After covering your silage pit with plastic, lay tires evenly across the surface. Overlap them slightly to reduce wind lifting. Five, Store extras properly. Stack remaining tires neatly away from standing water to avoid mosquito breeding. Now number five, fashion and lifestyle products. You can create rubber bells and accessories from old tires. One, select tire type, use bike or car tire sidewalls because they're flexible and easier to cut. 2. Clean the tire. Scrub off dirt and oils using soap and water, then let it dry. 3. Use a sharp utility knife or heavy-duty scissors to cut straps or shapes from the sidewall or tread. 4. Shape and design. Trim into desired accessory shapes like belts, bracelets, wallets, etc. 5. Add details, punch holes, attach buckles, rivets, or decorative elements. Six, smooth edges. Sand rough edges with fine grit sandpaper for comfort and finish. You can create footwear from old tires. One, choose the tire. Use motorcycle, car tire treads for soles. Avoid steel belted tires. Two, clean and cut. Wash the tire, then cut out the sole shape using a jigsaw or strong utility knife. Three, trace foot shape. Use an old shoe or your foot as a template on the tread side. Four, prepare the upper. Use leather, canvas, or repurposed fabric for the top part of the sandal or shoe. Five, attach upper to sole, drill small holes, and sew with strong cord or glue with industrial adhesive. Six, smooth edges, sand or trim sharp edges for comfort and finish. Now, let's move to number seven. 
innovative and emerging ideas. You can create 3D printing filament from old tires. 1. Shred the tires. Use an industrial shredder to break tires into small rubber granules and remove steel and fibers. 2. Clean thoroughly. Wash and dry the rubber particles to remove oils and contaminants. 3. Grind to powder. Use a fine mill to convert rubber into a fine powder. 4. Mix with polymer. Blend rubber powder with a thermoplastic, like PLA or HDPE, to create a printable composite. 5. Melt and extrude. Use a filament extruder to melt the mix and extrude into 1.75 or 2.85 millimeter filament strands. 6. Cool and spool. Let the filament cool, then spool it for use. Please note that this is experimental. So rubber alone isn't printable. Blending with plastic is necessary. You can create various road safety products from old tires. And here is the list. 1. Speed bumps. 2. Wheel stops or parking blocks. 3. Traffic cones. 4. Flexible bollards or posts. 5. Crash barriers or impact absorbers. 6. Reflective lane dividers. 7. Road delineators. 8. Guardrail padding. 9. Pedestrian crossing ramps. 10. Cable protectors or hose bridges. 11. Temporary roadblocks. 12. Curbstone covers. 13. Tire based road markers. 14. Portable barricades. 15. Noise reducing panels from shredded rubber. Finally, all tires are not waste. They are a big opportunity. Millions of discarded tires are now being transformed through innovation and technology into valuable and sustainable resources. The tire recycling process not only helps clean up our planet, but also powers a circular economy. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my other amazing videos coming every week. Many thanks for watching.